so my daughter was the first thing she said. She says, you know something, Dad? She says, they've got a dog over there, and his name is Bear. And I said, no kidding. For residents of the Pillars in White Bear Lake. You never get a bacon treat from me, do you? Yeah. <laughs> Golden Retriever Bear arrived at just the right time. He was a hit. He was a hit. And, and just, just watching them laugh at him no matter what he did. Like they would, somebody would get on the elevator on the third floor and the door would open and there's Bear on the elevator all by himself. <laughs> he makes the rounds by day right, visiting one, residents and guests. Two. Cute. And retires to a suite by night, his own little apartment near the front desk. With an ever-changing wardrobe of ties, his routine remains consistent. Here wanted to come say hi. And there he comes. And when resident Elvin Bloom <laughs> heads down to the gym. I, I was so surprised the first day that he got in this treadmill. I couldn't believe it myself. Bear, reluctant but willing, joins his side as they work out together. He's pretty good. Sometimes he goes a half an hour. The management team at Pillars, recognizing the isolation the pandemic was causing seniors, brought Bear into the home. You love him, don't you? Yes. Does he feed you? I don't. <laughs> He's brought comfort and companionship ever since, like the time he laid next to a resident who'd fallen. That lady was so cute. She said, am I feeling a dog right next to her? I said, Bear is laying next to her. She said, Oh my gosh! And allowing himself to be held by a woman who'd lost her husband. She just reached out and grabbed him and just collapsed into him and it was pretty cool and he didn't he didn't move, he just he just stayed there. It was really neat. To many here, Bear is a piece of their past, a reminder of time gone by. Well, when I was home on the farm, I had dog, yeah. I had a say uh, German Shepherd. And to visitors like Officer Tracy Minarchek, he's a symbol of unconditional acceptance when her calls take an emotional toll. We're here to help people. Sometimes people don't want our help. <laughs> or uh, half, the per you know, half the people involved want our help and the other half don't. But when you're with someone like Bear, who just doesn't care about any of that, doesn't care about what I do for a living, doesn't care about all the stuff that that I see. Bear, who in fairness is motivated by a never-ending distribution of treats, does seem to have the gift <laughs> of being just where he's needed most. He's just everywhere in the building, and he's just such a presence, and they just love it. Well, that is a face. 